Um, this is Rodney Purvis. Hey, that's, that's I'm 17 years old. <laughs> I'm from a um, small town, Plymouth, North Carolina. Uh, I moved to Raleigh when I was like 10, maybe, and um, I've been here ever since. I've just always been a humble kid, you know, nothing really gets to my head like that. I just appreciate all the blessings from God, and um, I just hope he continues to bless me with more. It's a good thing to recognize a young person who's doing things right. Uh, I told Shonda when we first started going through the press conference, and I sent her a text message, that I want this to be a celebration of a good kid. And that is what this is. A lot of people set goals, but very few people actually reach their goals because they don't have the patience or they don't have the work ethic to reach a goal. I am proud to say that here is a young man who's not only set a goal, but he's actually reached it. And that is to be able to do what he loves to do, which is go to college, which all our students preferably would be able to do, but also to not only go to college, but to be able to play the sport that you love. So that is all welcome as we bring to the table Rodney Purvis. Yeah. Yeah. The skills to make my decision was great. Um, I think I waited to the right time to do it. I took a couple visits, and um, I just felt like NC State was the best um, place for me and for my family, and I was just really comfortable with it. Court, um, I, my, I have really high expectations from my mom. She knows everything about me. She can walk in the game and see. She can walk into a game late and tell if I have, if I'm having a good game or a bad game. Um, if I have a bad game, I'm definitely gonna hear about it from her. She lets nothing slide, and uh, that's what I love her for. But at the time, you know, it's kind of hard. You already had a bad game, and uh, you got to come home to some yelling and fussing. So that's hard. But um, at the end of the day, I really appreciate that because it really made me the person I am today. My, like my mom, she played at um, North Carolina Central or whatever, and uh, she knows a lot about the game. And I don't really know how she do, but she really do know a lot about the game. And uh, I can't like go home and be like, um, like just ask her about a move or something like that. She wouldn't know anything about it. The only thing she knows is the basic principles of basketball, and that's rebounding playing hard and uh, talking on defense, just the little things that can make a huge difference in what people think about you as a um, player. 
So uh, she really helps me with those things and she installs those things in me and uh, I love my mom and I'm thankful for her. Yeah, it's, it's people who would love to have a situation like this in their high school, you know, but it's different because most, most people go to like a um, public school, so it's a lot of people in their school, but here in my school, it's just like, it's me and a couple of my friends who I've been close with all my life. And um, we just really like being around the little kids and uh, things like that. And uh, it's just a wonderful thing. I want to welcome you to my school, Upper Room Christian Academy. So let's take a walk inside. Big guy. This is my, this is my little brother, uh, Tyreek, right here. He, he's soft. He's soft. <laughs> um, I'm probably somewhere trying to either sneak in the gym or I'm uh, up upstairs on the high school hallway. Yeah. These two little girls right here, Demetrius and uh, Chase, they play on. They play for the the team too. <laughs> Do um, this is where my, all my classes are. Uh, just primarily on this hallway right here. What's it like to know that you're kind of like laying the foundation for the high school here for the kids? Oh, um, um, it, it's good for me because I like to I like to be a leader for everybody. You know, with the situation I'm in at this school, that's what I'm uh put to the test to do, so I just love it here. That's our, that's our slogan right there. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the gym right here where we'll be all season. You can come check us out. Sure, that's my high school coach, Coach Lester. My relationship with Coach Godfrey, uh, it's a very um, solid relationship. Uh, we talk to each other just about every day through via Twitter. And... Um, he just uh he's just a great guy and um, I'm happy to have someone like him in my life who I can just call up at any time and um he'll be there for me and uh tell me the right things that I need to hear. Well, um I have a lot of support here in North Carolina, although I have a lot of um people who not really big Rodney Purvis fans, but that's kinda irrelevant because you can have that wherever you're from and wherever you decide to go. But uh my family loved um NC State and uh, I love being around in Raleigh. And uh, I'm a I'm really fair. Uh, I'm a I'm a huge family person, so uh, I just felt like me being here in Raleigh could be a great thing. And uh, my family got my support. They behind me. They got my back. And uh, all my friends, uh, brothers and sisters in Raleigh have my back too. So. Tyler. Oh Tyler, yeah Tyler. Uh, he's my brother. We've been cool many years. Tyler Lewis. Uh, um, he's really good. He's a. a Point guard. People say he's small, but once he gets on the court, that really don't matter. Uh, he's proven himself all summer, and um, I'm just ready to get on campus with him so we can work hard, get better, push each other, and uh, compete for a national championship. Um, I'm definitely going to try to recruit Bryce Johnson from South Carolina. Uh, he played AU with me um, with CP3. Uh, he's really good, um, long, athletic, and um, he'll help us a lot at NC State. And I'm going to um, recruit uh, TJ Warren, my brother. We've been uh, cool for a few years now. We played on the same AU team. Um, he's really, really good, and uh, I like to have him on board at NC State. Uh, he's another Raleigh kid, so uh, it'll be great for the um, city of Raleigh to um, have me and TJ to be members of the um, North Carolina State basketball teams. Uh, it's just different, you know. It's, it's just something you always dreamed of and now it's here. And uh, you just want to make the best out of it while it's here.
growing up, you know, I just always wanted to be have the opportunity to be a good basketball player. And um, I never really cared about being acknowledged. You know, I just wanted people to know that I was um, just a good player, but better yet, a better person. And uh, I'd rather be known for a better person than a better basketball person because on the basketball court, people can only see one thing, and that's your demeanor at that moment. And uh, you can have a bad demeanor at that moment, and people can automatically write write you off and say how bad of a person you are just because your body language or something like that. But if people know you as a person, then uh, they'll know that you're a good kid and a good person. And um, so that's why I'm I'm the type of guy. And I, I have a great family, and uh, they install great things in me. So uh i am just always been a humble kid, you know, nothing really gets to my head like that. I just appreciate all the blessings from God, and um, I just hope he continue to bless me with more. Uh, well, God is the head of my life, and um, my principles are God first, uh, my family second, basketball third, and that's what I go by, you know. I love my family, I love the Lord, and uh, I think that's what people really like about me. And um, I hope that's what really people that's what people like about me the most is that the fact that I have a um, strong relationship with the Lord. Um, I like having the bullseye on my back because it causes me to bring it every single night. Um, this is Rodney Purvis, and you're watching Hungry but Humble on Ballers Life.